Hey, Mickey Bone Gang, Vinny here, back in southeast Louisiana. This time we got the whole family. Got the puppy dog on the front, got the wife right there, and it has been a while since we put out uh, jug lines. I was just looking back at my previous videos and the last one, which is doing pretty good right about now. Apparently y'all are enjoying it, but I uh, haven't done it in a while, so now seems like a good time. I worked on my anchors a little bit, got my bricks back, because uh, I used to have all bricks on all my jug lines, but Hurricane Ida decided to take all of that somehow, and uh, yeah, I was left with like little bolts and stuff I had on there, so bricks are going to make it better. I'll show you how that works. Let's get them out. I usually use perch for bait, but uh, I don't have any perch right now, so I have shrimp and a ladyfish. We're going to stick that on there right now and uh, toss them out, and while those are soaking, we'll go try and catch some perch. We got a little, uh, got a little wind blowing, so I might not even have to turn the motor on right now while we drifting on down the, down the line we're gonna toss this one out i got my like i said i got my brick tied on with a piece of string that's just to anchor it because like with this wind blowing if i didn't have an anchor on it it would definitely uh end up down the bayou somewhere so i'm gonna do that let that out my puppy dog has not seen this before so he has no idea what's going on hopefully he don't try and fetch this you don't want to fetch this leave that back all i'm gonna do is take this big old circle hook right here i'm gonna thread that shrimp through it Make sure, the, make sure the point's sticking out like that so the lip can go in there and get hooked right there. And then we're gonna toss it out. Leave it, leave it, leave it. <laughs> so I'm just trying to get that jug right now already. I'm gonna let him fool with it while we uh, set up the rest of them. That way he can get himself good and hooked if he's gonna get himself good and hooked and don't just steal my bait. Besides the shrimp, we got this little piece of ladyfish. We're gonna see, no telling what might work better. Toss this one out there. And I'm putting them about that full. And I got 10 of them. Actually, I got 11 because I got a spare. And then, uh, yeah, we'll throw them right down this canal and see what happens. If we don't get a bunch of them biting, which it looks like we might have some good luck. If we don't have a bunch of them biting right now, I'm going to leave them out overnight and I'm going to come get them in the morning. Which uh, tends to do pretty well a lot of times. Especially because it's uh, summertime and it hadn't quite cooled off a whole lot. So these catfish ain't going to come out and come up this high in the, uh, in the, uh, in the heat. Because my line's only set like about a foot and a half, 18 to 30, 18 to 30 inches, something like that. Not even 30, 18 to 24. That's what I tried to say. Man, that lens is dirty. Gotta clean that. Yep, grab the brick. Toss the brick out first. Come here, Waylon. Throw the brick out. All right. Hold it upside down like, like, nope, nope. You panicked too much. You didn't calm down. Calm down. Feel, look, do this. You feel a uh, thing sliding? Yes. You want it back that. Okay. But you want that, yeah, like that. So I drop it from the water like that? No, you drop it flat, but just make sure that thing slid all the way to the front. To the front. All right, let me get closer to the bank. All right. Yeah, don't, don't get my bow down there. All right, now drop it in. There you go. Leave it, no, Waylon, leave that, leave it. All right. on down bubble you can't retrieve that it ain't ducks all right go here all right let's go try and catch some perch perfect don't reel it don't reel it let it go Probably did take it. Yeah, he might have got it. Yep. Stole your beat. Man, Waylon, relax, bro. Just relax, dude. Calm down. I see one standing up from over here. Yep, orange one. I'm gonna start charging you to bait your hook like a charter company. Okay. Boom, perfect. And no. Let's try a piece of shrimp, see if they want some shrimp. Let's try this, see if they like that. Maybe they don't like shrimp. Of them by now. Well, let's see. Let's put that to the test. Hand me that. Because you're about to do an extra special bait. No, I'm just doing like the worm. The person who has a recipe <laughs> and doesn't give all the ingredients. Just doing the worm. Well, don't look like we're using perch today. All right. So this is what's going to happen. What's going to happen? You got to grab the jug and you're going to pull it up. Yes. And when the catfish gets up to the top, I'm going to scoop him with the net. Don't scream and drop it. Ah, well, you're probably going to okay. scream. Okay. I don't 
see it pulling, so it might not be nothing on this one. No, nope. oh, little baby catfish. Don't get stuck by him now. What the heck happened? Don't get stuck by him. Them little ones hurt. I'll flip him off so that way. You flip That's him a little gaffed up. That's a little uh, saltwater cat. So he ate the bait. Yep, something that small got on that big old hook. That's why I use on? these big hooks. Yep. Ring bait. And we're going to get it back out. I did it right? Yep. Yay. It's going to be a lot different when a big old catfish is on I know, baby. Yeah. I know. You got to get ready. I actually thought that little thing was a bait. Yeah, I did too. It <laughs> 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 was moving. No. Watch out, buddy. Is he gonna get hit? Nah, no, that'd be alright. Okay. a little small. We're gonna let him back go, but that's uh that's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for. That one's definitely got something on it. It ain't going under though, so it ain't that big probably, but it definitely got some catfish out here. Might have been a crab eating on it. That's probably what it was. Let me see. Yep, probably a crab. We're gonna go ahead and get rid of this since there ain't nothing but the head left. Even though they probably would eat that. Oh, that one might be a little bit bigger. There we go. Flip him in the boat. Get back here. It's a gaff stop. Huh? That's another salt, uh, saltwater catfish. It's not too often I catch these back here. He's big enough though. He's gonna go in the ice just. Wayland. Leave it. Wayland just determined to get stuck by something. Yes, Wait, but here. I done got stung by these before. That ain't no fun. Remember that? Yes, I do, baby. That's uh, like a sail cat. Yep. And yeah, we'll go ahead and keep him. Still got the bait on it too. So I'm gonna throw this right back. Right back. All right, so if you're not familiar with how these jugs work, all this is is a PVC pipe, cap on each end, a little uh, pool noodle going on right there, and a little line with a hook. I use about 18 to 24 inches about. I got me a little swivel right here because when them catfish bite, they like to spin. And I also usually have a line right here with a weight on the end, but this one's my spare, so I'm just for demonstration purposes. Now what happens is they got a little piece of rebar on the inside and you can load these, listen to that. So it goes to the top right there. So when you throw it in, it's going to sit flat. When a catfish or a fish bites it, it makes it stand up. That rebar comes down there and it's going to make it stand up like that and wave at you, let you know you got a fish. And what it also does is when they hear this, kind of spooks them and they'll set, the, they'll set the hook on themselves and then you got yourself a catfish. I do have a video on how to make that. I'll leave that in the description below. You can check that out if you want. All right. Hey, Aiken Bone Gang. Oh, wait, we did that already. Well, it's the next morning, folks. We didn't uh, get any biggins last night, so we headed back to the house, and we're back this morning. It's just me and old Wayland. And uh see a bunch of the jugs standing up. I don't know if you can see them back there, but I don't see any moving just yet, so I don't know. The heck is that just landed on me? Get off there. So anyway, I'm going to go check these jugs, and then if there's nothing on there, we're going to go perch jerking and see if we can get the perch this morning and put them on there so we can get some of the bigger cats. All right, buddy, you ready? Let's go get them. You ready? You ready for some catfish? Let's go get some catfish. All right, come on. Let's go get them. And no. Man, one of these days, I'm going to get this boat running right. Go ahead and rebate. Man, calm down. And no. Nothing, buddy. No. All right, well, <clears throat> nothing on the jug. So we got them rebated with the shrimp. But now it's time we can get some perch. All right, Waylon, give it a sniff for good luck. Thank you, bud. All right, perchy, 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 perch. Right there? No. There we go. Finally got one. 
We got it, bud. We got it, Bubba. Oh, we got it. We got it, dude. Throw him in the ice chair. See if we can't get a couple more, Bubba. See if we can't get a couple more, and we'll go slap them on a couple of them lines. Oh, jeez them. Wasn't even paying attention. That one grabbed it. All right, there we go. There's two. We ought to be able to get about six, five or six jugs out of these two. So let's go try that. Well, out. Ain't that terrific. Hopefully ain't a whole lot of that. Did you bring a rain jacket? Yeah, me neither. Woo, that's big old fat rain too. That's cold. That's cold. Mm. This thing here is kind of rain resistant, but uh, I don't think that's going to do us no good. Oh, that's cold. Got one. There we go. Uh -uh, watch out, Waylon. Watch out, buddy. Come on, buddy. We're racing the we're racing the weather right now, cuz. Whew. I don't know where that storm came from, but it's coming, so we're trying to get out of here. I'm gonna have to deal with all these jugs later. Tossing them in. exactly go the way I was uh, hoping or anticipating. This thing's awfully doing life, but you know what they say, if life gives you lemons, cut that sucker in half, squeeze the juice in your eye, and embrace the suck. I'm just kidding, folks. Make the best out of any situation you get stuck in, even if it doesn't go as planned, like we're about to do today. Since we caught both a freshwater species and a saltwater species on the jug, we're going to go ahead and uh, put them up against each other in a little taste test. So we got the blue cat right there. Pretty sure it was a blue cat. Let me know in the comments if it was a uh, channel cat. Pretty sure it was a blue cat though. And then the saltwater species was the sail cat, the gaff top sailfin catfish, the slime cat, if you will. I'm pretty sure there's another name for it that I can't quite think of right now. But yeah, there you go. As you can see, the meat looks pretty Pretty daggum similar. Uh, you can tell they're both catfish for sure. Pretty near same color, pretty near same texture. So I'm gonna do it simple as can be. We're just gonna sprinkle a little bit of season on it and pan fry it in some butter. Just uh, cause we don't wanna cover up the taste of the meat too much. Cause I just wanna see if there's a difference. You know, one tastes fishy, one tastes nasty, one tastes delicious. Or if they're both the same. Let's stop talking about it and do it. All right, so like I said, keeping it super simple. We're gonna go ahead and get some, uh, some butter melting while we season up our fish a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and cook that blue cat first. Then we'll head on over to the sail cat when we're done with that. And all I'm going to do is a simple uh, trinity shake. That's that uh, onion, bell pepper, and celery in powdered form. And well, it was powdered form until it got all stuck together in the thing. And then we're going to put some Cajun Creole seasoning. And that's it. That's all we're doing with this. Like I said, don't want to make it too complex. Just want to taste the fish, you know. Butter melted. Slapping the fish on like that and i'm gonna season the other side while it's in there mm -hmm. and while that's cooking i'm gonna go ahead and season up the little sail okay with the same thing all right take that out switch them out i'm even gonna wash that pan to make sure no flavors left in there from the other fish now for the sail cat melt that butter same thing Just judging by the looks of it, I might have put a little tad too much of that Trinity seasoning, but uh, and I forgot the garlic powder. So no garlic. It's not gonna be as good as it could have been, but let's go ahead. We're just gonna taste to see if the fish tastes any different. See if there's any uh, fishy taste to one or the other or whatnot, but I'm gonna go with the old freshwater fish first, right? Chunk. Tastes like catfish, as you might imagine. Go ahead and taste the saltwater cat. Mm. 
That tastes about what and what, fellas? Fresh water? Salt water. Texture is the same and taste is not discernible between the two. So there you go. There's two different species of saltwater cats that we have. It's the sail cat and then the hardhead. Hardhead, not worth your time. Trust me. They're edible, but I wouldn't recommend it. So if you find yourself fishing in a brackish water estuary as I uh, happen to live in and you end up catching both species, go ahead and clean them up, fry them up together. And uh, enjoy. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I enjoyed putting the jugs out again. We're going to have to revisit this because I'm after them big blues. We after them big blues or them big old goujons. But uh, today we couldn't get it done. Storm kind of chased us out of there. But we'll uh, revisit that and make it happen. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, I really do appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. I'd appreciate that too. Helps out a lot. Hit that thumbs up button if you like it. And uh, that's a wrap.